In today's beginner-friendly tutorial, I'll show you how you can set up your Pioneer Zumo TV for the first time, one step at a time, so that you can go through the setup process smoothly and get right into your favorite entertainment in a matter of minutes. So let's get started. Make sure you have plugged in your Pioneer TV to power and you have put in batteries into your TV remote. And after you have plugged your TV into power, it should turn on automatically and the first thing you'll see is the language selection page. And you'll also hear a narrator's voice. So select your language and after that you'll be able to turn off the voice guidance. Then you'll need to pair your remote by pointing at your TV and then pressing the blue microphone button. It may take a few seconds to pair and now that it's paired, make sure to choose the home mode and then choose your internet connection method. Now choose your Wi-Fi name and connect by entering your password. After you connect to a Wi-Fi or internet, your Pioneer TV will check for updates and install the latest firmware. So be sure not to turn your TV off when the update is ongoing and this may take a few minutes to complete. Meanwhile, you can watch the tips to get more familiar with all the features of your Pioneer Zumo TV. Then you'll also see this pop-up that will say in 5 minutes your TV will go into maintenance mode and if you want to do it now, you'll need to turn your TV off. So we're definitely not gonna wait 5 minutes and turn our TV off by pressing power on the remote. After turning your TV off, it will come back on by itself after a minute. Then it will say your TV has been successfully updated and you'll need to hit next on the privacy policy. After that, it's mandatory to scan this QR code or go to zumo.com slash activate and create a login with your Zumo TV account. Unfortunately, if you wish to skip it, then you'll lose all the smart features of your TV. Then, as we don't have an account, we will create one. So we'll just grab our smartphone, scan the QR code, and this will take us to zumo.com slash activate. Here you'll need to enter the code that you see on your TV and after that you'll need to enter your email address. Then tap on continue with Zumo and after that you'll need to check your email for the verification. So we'll just open our email app and we will look for the mail from Zumo, open it and we'll need to tap on click to verify. This will take us back to the website. And here to create your Zuma account for the first time, you'll just need to put in a new password and tap create account. After that, it will ask for your payment method. But fortunately, if you don't want to do it, then you can just scroll down to the bottom and select skip for now. And now it will say welcome to your new account. That's it. Now we can go back to our Pioneer TV and at the top we'll see the account is now linked. So let's grab our remote and tap on yes, continue. And there you go, you're now activated. So let's press continue. And lastly, it will ask you if you want to install some entertainment apps. If you don't want to do that, then just select skip for now. After that, it will ask you to select your interest, based on which you'll get content recommendation. This is your chance to customize your recommendations even before you start using your TV. Now in the next step, you can go ahead and add some titles that you want to watch. You can skip this step if you want. After you're done customizing your recommendations, you'll need to choose your time zone. Then you'll need to choose whether you want to enable your TV to be woken up using casting feature, but it may consume some power. So choose accordingly, and you can always change it later from your device's power preference. Now you'll get two options. Try the easy setup, which will take you directly to the home screen or select the custom setup, we're gonna select custom setup to see which options we get. So the first thing that it gives us is the ability to change our device name. You can select one of the above or you can create a custom name. Next you'll be prompted to connect your devices to your TV. For example, now we'll connect our PS5 to our Zumo TV's HDMI port. Then when we press continue, you can see our PlayStation 5 has appeared here. So let's press next. Then if you have a composite device like VCR or DVD, you can select it's connected. And if you don't have any, just select skip for now. Then do the same for the antenna cable. 
And just like that, the custom setup has walked us through all the needed connectivity options. So now we can start exploring our Zumo TV with a personalized experience from the get-go. So go ahead and jump into entertainment. And if you found this guide helpful, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to support us, and I'll see you around.